Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, we're going to be going over basic input and output in C++. So this is the uh, module number three of our C++ programming series. And today we're going to go over input and output. So let's uh, take a look at this thing. This is a comment up here on the top. And if you don't know what a comment is, go and watch, watch uh, module two where I explained what comments are and uh, where you can put them. So this is a comment. This is a comment, and this is a comment, as you can tell by two slashes, forward slashes. So uh, let's just go and start printing some stuff to the screen, which would be the basic output and basic input. And remember, we had to do an include I.O. stream preprocessor directive, because if you don't include this, we cannot do inputs, we cannot do outputs. So let's uh, do a basic output to the screen. Now here, here's the basic syntax. This is the command you're going to use, C out, and then you do two left arrows. And then whatever you want to print goes in front of this right here. And then when you're done, you put semicolons to tell the compiler that you have, you're done with your statement. Okay, of course, this, this one is here is wrong. Okay, so we're going to take that off. So whenever you want to print a string of text to the console, you have to put it between double quotation marks. So whatever you print here goes on the screen. So this will go and print itself on the screen. So let's do a save on this. Remember, you have to save your file every time you have to run it. So build a project and then run the project. So if I take this and put it right here, says this will go and print itself on the screen okay so whatever you put here between these double quotation marks goes and prints itself on the console screen so let's say uh, i go to the new line and put in c out and just i'm going to put a space right here and say test i'm going to put a semicolon save the file build and run now, if you look here, it says this will go and print itself on the screen, and then there's a space, and it says test. So just because we have two new lines here doesn't mean the output is going to be two brand new lines, too. Remember, with C++, or any programming language for that matter, everything that happens on the screen, you make it happen. So how do we put a new line between this string and this word test? Let's do that real quick. So just go between here and put C out, do the basic syntax. And the, 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 the term that you want to use, you want to use to add a new line onto the console is called end L. Okay? And semicolon, of course. So every time you do end L, you put one new line to the screen. So the last time, the output stopped right here. With the new line, it's going to add a new line here, and then test, and the space and the test is going to print on the new line. So let's do a run on that and show you guys. Save file, build and run. Okay, so take this and put it right here. So it says this will go and print itself on the screen, and then you did a C out and L. So the, the cursor moved from here to the new line here, and then you printed the space and the test on the new line. So if I add one more of these and else, you're going to see a full space. There you go. See? Now you got a full space. Let's exit and I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's say you want to put test five spaces underneath of this first string. You're not going to go and type C out and L and all that stuff. That's too much work. What you can do is you can combine the and else like this. So and L and L as many as you want. You keep using left arrows and L. Okay, let's save this. Build and run. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four new lines that were inserted here because we put this code in between the two text files, I mean the text uh, streams. So let's uh, 
cancel out of this and do show you one more thing let's say I want to put a couple of spaces I mean a couple of new lines after the test I can also do this so you can s combine multiple outputs together under one C out statement so we have a C out here I put test if you put two more left arrows you can add whatever you want here in fact let's do it this way let's put a text test number two okay remember I'm putting a space here right here because I don't want this to be conjoined with the test and then put an end L right here okay and then put another end L let's save this file do a build and run take a look at this so it says test test number two number two and then we added two new lines and that's why you get the space right here so this is pretty much the basic form of input and output finally before I move into um, well I'm sorry this is the basic form of output and before I move to input let me show you one more thing that you're gonna like you can have this whole thing in one line so you don't need three C out statements this is what you could have done and L and L and L and then you could have done test and then you could have gone and L save the file build and run okay pretty much the same thing we did before by only using one C out statement so you can string different output methods all with each other by using these arrows so let's um clear this and type in now we will talk about input and then let's do this one right here space and put two new lines now we're gonna do another C out and we're gonna ask the person uh, please enter an integer please enter your age we're gonna do a this and a space so on the screen is the, the cursor is gonna be right next to age semicolon okay Save file, build and run. So ideally, it's going to show right here. It's going to ask for the age of the person that is playing with this program. So how do we get that from the user? The first thing is I need a variable declaration. I have to declare a variable of type integer. And I'm going to go over this in the next module. I'm going to go over variables, declaring variables, initializing variables, and stuff like that. So for now, let's just declare it. A variable named age and age is of type integer so how do we how do I read this into the system I go down here and I use the C in command and the syntax on this is two right arrows and what we're gonna read inside is age okay so what this means is when the user puts his age in the computer and presses enter the value that he typed in gets assigned to the variable age and then let's um, save this build and run so see so it says please enter your age so let's put 50 which I'm not 50 by the way but I'm just putting in 50 press enter so what happened was the value of 50 got assigned to age okay so that's how you read in a variable so let's just print the same variable on the screen so C out now how do we print the variable on the screen let's do it this way your age is and then we're gonna do this age okay so you can print any variable on the screen just by typing it after C out so you do C out 
you do your left arrows and then you can print a variable on the screen so let's uh, run this command in fact let's clear this up a little bit and L okay so we're gonna do save save file do a build and run and now please enter your age 50 it says your age is 50 Okay, let's complicate this program just a little bit more and in fact let's take away the spaces okay so let's let's say we did a please enter your age and then we're gonna ask see out please enter your girlfriend's age okay so we're gonna ask this guy two questions so what we're going to do is here we had age declared to read the girlfriend's age we have to declare another variable and make sure the variable variable names are relevant to what you're reading inside so what we can do is girlfriend age okay so that's another variable we just declared and its type is integer integer is a basic number it could be one two three four five six it goes all the way to two million or more but uh, it's a basic integer. You cannot have 5.5 .5 assigned to an integer. So uh, let's do it this way. In fact, there's a mistake we made here. We're going to take this thing here, cut it out, and put it right here. Age. Everything in programming has to be sequential. So you get the age of yourself, you got to read the age right away. Then you tell the guy to read your girl's age, and then you go down and you do sin, right arrows, girlfriend, age, semicolon. So now we're gonna add one more output window here. Your GF's age is it comes up right away that's the nice thing about the uh, code blocks when you declare a variable you don't have to type in the whole damn thing it actually gives it it completes it for you so tap that and there you go okay so let's um, save this file build and run so let's go line by line it says please enter your age which is right here so I enter my age 50 and then it, it reads the age behind the scenes and then the next line says please enter your girlfriend's age so please enter your girlfriend's age the hundred press enter so here it says your age is 50 and then there's nothing in between because we didn't put a new line see how we don't have a new line after this this output here so what it did was it appended the outputs together so it says your age is space the age and then it started where it left off so let's uh, clarify that and that that was a good thing that happened now you know what you should put new lines wherever you can it clears the output screen so it's more user-friendly to anybody using your program okay so let's do it this way say file build and run let's do it again please enter your age we read the age girl's age 100 boom it says your age is 50 your girlfriend's age is 100 okay so um that is the basic input and output you should know for now to continue with this course you probably already run learn this in module 2 but I wanted to show you specifically how to uh, print stuff like strings and new lines and such on screen so remember strings go between double quotation marks and if you declare a variable and you assign a value to that variable you can print that on the screen but you don't have to put it in double quotation marks okay well thank you for watching this uh, video guys subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, click the like button if you like this video and uh, thank you again for watching. Have a good day.